What's up everyone, thank you for watching. On this episode, I'm gonna be putting a fourth generation Accord alternator onto my third generation Accord. I will be showing you with a multimeter the output differences and how a fourth generation alternator could be a good upgrade slash option if you ever needed to change an alternator on a fuel injected uh, third generation Accord. So as I film this, the past couple days I've been having some problems uh, with inconsistencies in my alternator. Um, it has been giving me a battery light on and off whenever it wanted to and I uh, consulted with a couple people on the 3G's forum on the Facebook and for those of you who are watching this that helped me out, thank you for your input. Um, I went over everything you've uh, suggested and I'm more likely thinking it's the voltage regulator on the alternator itself that's going out that's being inconsistent. Um, that or the brushes, I'm not too sure on that. If either or of the case, I, I went away already to re gonna replace the alternator. Just decided to do the fourth generation alternator since I um, never had a chance of doing one and figured it'd be a good chance to show you guys. All right, so with the battery off, it should hold around 12.7 uh, volts, which it's holding a little less than that, but I mean, um, should be fine. It's been holding consistently around 12.6, uh, 12.5.5. 12, I'm gonna start the car, hopefully, you know, get the battery light now. So I said it's been inconsistent. All right, cool. As you guys can tell, no battery light from the stock third generation alternator. As of yet, go test the voltage. My voltmeter. Set it to 20. So we're trying to do this and film it. <laughs> off with all the lights off with the radio off and everything so I'm gonna turn all those on just for a quick reference headlights side shot guys to the left is going to be the third generation accord alternator to the right is going to be the fourth generation um, you guys can see the very I mean I'm pretty sure it's the same exact similarities between the two even the pulley is the same size I'll give you guys close for that about two three quarters so it's a little bit different but it shouldn't be too much of a problem Ground as here, whereas on the fourth generation, it's on top. The back, so guys, this will only work for fuel injected because our carbureted cars for our third generation Accords only come with a three wire alternator plug, which uh, the fuel injection ours comes with four. Four plug fits right in. Have okay, it. I wasn't too sure about this at first. Uh, there was a lot of mixed information on some of the pages on the 3G's forums that I read, but it's uh, for sure fact now that the stock Accord alternator belt is too short for this to work. Now, honestly, I can make this work with the stock um, alternator bracket. In a pinch, could you guys make it work? Yes. Do I? Would I definitely rely on it? No. But you can make it work. Basically, all I, say, all I will say is just put your bracket on. Don't tighten it all the way. Just let it hook on to this bottom um, bolt right here. Hook it on. Don't tighten it up. Um, try to work with the alternator. Move it. T get the belt. You know, work with it the best you can. Get the uh, adjuster. Slip the, bolt, slip the bolt through the tensioning, and then just try to catch catch it on the alternator and try to make it screw in. I said like in a pinch I would do it, but I'm not in a pinch. So uh, I'm gonna head down and uh, get a bigger belt and then I'll let you guys know what belt I get and we'll go from there. As I said guys, so this is like just by hand as full as I can go to full tension. 
And as you can see where that mount is for where the adjuster would go. It's not even close. It's like a hair from the water pump. If you guys still had your, yours on and you tried adjusting it, this should be somewhere around this area. All right, it was a little bit more work than I thought, but I got it on and I got it working. This is what the finished product looks like. So some key stuff to think or to note down. So you notice right here, I had to use a longer bolt than what came with this stock because I don't know whether or not I stripped this or it just never came threaded. I'm not too sure. I'm more than likely probably stripped it. I'm not sure because the original bolt just went uh, through it. Anyway, I just got a uh, nut with a uh, locking washer that I had extra and I did have the same spec bolt but longer. So you guys, um, if you don't have anything laying around, just get your uh, original bolt that went on the top of your alternator to a local hardware store and just get a, just get a longer one. Now you notice here too, I got a spacer. This roughly is about 3 8 I measured it before putting it on here. Now the reasoning for that is because um, when I started putting it on and it started to close towards the, um, the belt tensioner assembly, I noticed the offset pulleys were way off and it started to kind of kink this way. And I did remember seeing something about that. I didn't read too much into it in the form. I'll post it in the description below along with uh, the uh, links on the belt size, which I had to get uh, two times. <laughs> Overall length for this is gonna be uh, 37 and a half inch. Um, so basically this is a uh, serpentine, serpentine belt for uh, your fourth generation Accord non-AC. The AC one will be around 43 and a half inches long in total length. So you want this one, 37 and a half. The stock length of belt that this, the uh, th third generation Accord came with, with was uh, 36 and a half. So I'll put that in the link, or sorry, I'll put links in the description where you can get that belt. Um, yeah, but other than that guys, everything's bolted out, everything's fine, everything's running. Let's we'll start it up and see what the output is. All right guys, I just started it moments ago. Um, all the accessories are off, the radio is off. So we're gonna go see what the readings are right now on the multimeter. guys thanks for watching uh, that about does it I've always wanted to do this modification and now that my old alternator is no longer useful I found take out the opportunity to do this now that this car is no longer my daily driver um so reasoning reasonings for doing this would be if you guys are running a crazy subsystem running extra uh, electrical accessories such as like I don't know lights fog lights uh, no CB radios anything that just draws extra power the extra 80 amps or not the extra 80 amps, the 80 amps from the fourth generation Accord alternator should help compensate with that. Um, as far as I know, the carbureted and the and the fuel injected um, third generation Accord alternators put out 60 or 65 amps. So, I mean, is this a huge leap? Not really, but I mean, anything helps. Um, I'll leave links in the description. 
There was talk about the uh, first generation Acura Legend alternators also supposedly to work on this. That puts out even higher output than the fourth generation Accord. I'm not too sure on that. You guys can do your own research based upon the uh, links to the forum links I'll leave in the description. Um, but yeah, guys, other than that, I'm happy. It works. Uh, you guys saw the physical um, alterations I had to do to make the alternator work. But guys, I'm, I'm set up for the fourth generation alternator. You know, these cars are only going to get older day by day. So... You know, if the fourth generation alternator is the only option in a later feature, then at least I'm set up for it or you guys can get set up for it. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions, uh, drop them in the comments below. I'll answer them um, when I can. So thank you for watching Asian Garage. I'll catch you guys in the next one.